Welcome to TNW Church Solutions Online Seminar. Today we want to talk with you about how design and construction services are delivered to today's church. If you are watching this presentation, it is likely that your church is considering or in the beginning stages of building. For that reason, we want to help you understand the way design and construction services are delivered and discover the best system and fit for your ministry. Church building committees spend countless hours wrestling with the approach they will take to design and build their new facilities, and with good reason. The facts are grim. Construction is the second most litigated industry next to medical. The average cost overruns are in excess of 20%. And then there is the George Barna statistic that over half of the churches in America have a set of plans that they will never build, and they are likely sitting behind the pastor's door. Our goal at T&W Church Solutions is to make sure that the churches we serve do not become one of those unfortunate statistics. It all starts with understanding the way that design and construction services will be delivered to you. The four primary delivery systems are design, bid, build, construction management, in-house design, build, and then T&W Church Solutions design, build. Let's dive into the pros and the cons of each system and discover which is the best fit for you. Design, bid, build is the most familiar of the three traditional delivery systems. The normal sequence of events for this delivery system begins with the church selecting a designer. The designer discovers the needs of the church, creates a design, and then bids the plans and specifications to a handful of qualified builders. During the construction stage of the project, the designer inspects for quality control and acts as the key customer agent representative in cases of dispute with the builder. The pros of this delivery system are the owner hires the designer directly and the designer is his advocate from the beginning. The designer becomes the quality assurance and conflict resolution manager for the owner. Open bidding of multiple general contractors allows for the lowest initial cost for the plans and specifications. The cons of this delivery system are there is a lack of teamwork with the builder during the design process results in 6% more cost than a team approach. The actual cost of the project is not guaranteed until the design is complete and the builder's bids are received. The average change order increase rate over original contract due to error or omission is approximately 15%. Construction management tended to grow as a result of customers not completely understanding the argument between designers and builders, subcontractors, and wanting a third party to referee the discussion. An added benefit was to rely upon the construction manager's experience to reduce the costs of the building through open dialogue with the designer and various subcontractors. The pros of this delivery system are the owner hires the designer and construction manager early and they become his advocate from the beginning. The designer and construction manager become the quality assurance and conflict resolution managers for the owner. Open bidding of each individual subcontractor allows for the lowest initial cost for the plans and specifications by trade. The cons of this delivery system are the owner takes the risk of the subcontractors by direct contracting. The direct contracting approach with the subcontractors results in 4.5% more cost than a team approach. An adversarial relationship often exists between the construction manager and the subcontractors due to a lack of an actual contract relationship resulting in higher litigation. The average change order increase rate over original contract due to error or omission is approximately 10%. In-house design build resulted from the customer's need to one-stop shop and to stay out of the arguments that the other two systems tended to generate. With designers and construction managers under the same roof, 
the finger pointing and fault finding ceased because on contract covered all design and construction. Basically, all risk and liability is borne by the design builder. The pros of this delivery system are there is a single source of responsibility. Communication is generally enhanced by pulling all critical team members to the table early. The designer builder represents to the subcontractors that the plans and specifications are flawless and bears the risk of errors and or omissions in the plans. The cons of this delivery system are the designer is often an employee of the builder thus eliminating important checks and balances on the project. The fox guarding the hen house. The design build designers may not have the experience needed for each specific project. The builder can direct the designer to decrease the quality of materials in order to maximize builder profit. Many design build companies do not share the results of subcontractor bidding with the owner. T&W Church Solutions approach became a hybridization of the previous three delivery systems, keeping the pros of each system and eliminating a great number of the cons. The key differences lie in complete transparency of costs, a completely open communication system between owner and various professionals, and complete protection from risk through team ownership of the design and build solution. The pros of T&W Church Solutions Design Build Approach are There is a single source of responsibility. A highly accurate guaranteed maximum price, GMP, is established early in the process at a greatly reduced price. The Team Build Approach allows design services to be performed for 2% to 5% through open teamwork versus the traditional design fee of 7% to 10%. The designer and builder are separate yet unified companies providing the owner checks and balances through the process partnered accountability. Open bidding of individual subcontractors allows the owner to be involved with the selection of every subcontractor on his job while the builder maintains the responsibility for that subcontractor's performance. Due to early buy-in and ownership of the project, the change order rate, due to error or omission, is 0%. The cons of TNW's design-build approach are that Team Build is a new concept that is built upon an extremely open and transparent level of sharing that is new and only beginning to be embraced by a traditionally closed industry. Providing the opportunity to subcontractors who are members of the church to bid on the project is double-edged, significant savings to the church, or hurt feelings if not selected to perform the work. A good design and build team with a heart to serve the Lord can make what could be a time of ministry distraction into a time of ministry focus. Selecting a team to serve your ministry should be based on the relationship with the team members. Most importantly, choose a team for their experience and ability to synergize with your building committee to develop cost-effective solutions for your project. For more resources, visit our website at www.tw-church.com or download our ebook series at www.tw-church.com forward slash ebook series forward slash to learn more about beginning the building process. Finally, take a moment and listen to what our customers have to say about TNW Church Solutions. We are passionate about serving and want to help you through your planning and building process. Contact Kurt Williams by email or phone or check out Church Solutions' website at www.tw-church.com.